Hello everyone, this is Viv. I have received many queries regarding how to install Brand Lara Cricket 99 in Windows XP, in Windows 7 or even Windows 98. So I am going to show you here step by step the way by which you can download and install in each step. If you have visited my blog, you can already find the ISO out there in form of torrent, in form of file sharing applications, for example this uh, rapid share and some other like that so i hope that before watching my this tutorial you have this iso which is in a zip zipped form if you are downloading via files uh, sharing utility and if you via torrent the size is 457 mb here's the size so the first thing that you need to know regarding blc 99 is that you need to have a virtual cd system if you are already aware of this system then that's good and you can proceed to the later part of the tutorial but if not then let me guide you to do that so virtual cd you can get there are many softwares that you can get but there are, so there are some free softwares there are some free applications that you can get uh, one of these applications is daemon tools if you know about that so i'm gonna show you the installation for that you're gonna go there in daemon tools gonna go there just click out we do not need any hyper functionality so i'm gonna go with the daemon tools line i'm gonna click here and it will take me to the download page and i'm gonna buy out here so let me click on the download here it is so now i'm gonna download it uh, let me press it here it is so download it will ask me to save the file this is ie7 so the format is different i am gonna click on save as select the desktop to save the file and here you can see the progress of the saving of the file so let us wait till the file is completed no also let me tell you that uh, this is a pretty old game so obviously there are a few issues with it and uh, one of the reasons that uh, I just wanted to play the game is that I had many friends who were not uh, willing to switch to the new games though recently this is year 2011 in which I am showing this tutorial there is a f there are a few games that in, in terms of cricket which are good uh, so but not much uh, there is something specifically good about blc 99 that just keeps me interested in that even after 10 years of even more than 10 years even around 15 years of its development i hope that someday they could even think of it doing open source something like that in the meantime let us wait for the download to get finished I have introduced a new team editor feature in which you can edit the cricket positions but uh, unfortunately that is not uh, available in windows 7 though you can run it successfully on windows xp I, I tried and tested it at that time but for windows 7 binaries there are some issues because it uses very old uh, format of visual basic 5 something or so i wasn't able to implement that but if you have some expertise or some workaround to do run it in windows 7 as well then do let me know about that because it might be a good thing as you can see that now installation is finished so i'm gonna go to the desktop and uh, open the installer it will ask me administrative privileges you should have that if you want to install it click ok click next click next paid license just try for the free one okay just make sure that you uncheck for sptd 1.76 because for the moment for playing this game specifically we do not need it however if you have future interactions with some serious gaming then you might need to go for a reboot that's dependent on you but for this game you need not to have i'm gonna uncheck each and everything so that uh, there are not much things installed that's, that is my personal choice it's going to install now installing installing
as you can see that now virtual device drivers are being installed in your system and as a result you can have more than one virtual drive just minimize the window just say it in uh, you just go to your my computers and you can see an additional drive which is bd rom drive this is the normal drive that you are already having dvd drive in your system this is the additional virtual drive that you are going to use now so just minimize it just go to the settings of the daemon tools go to their in virtual devices device zero mount image right let's go there just browse the desktop go to the place where have you downloaded the iso file double click it and there you see it is now inserted out there now how to run it first thing first go in my computer again you can just see that this nice is being now installed out there so i'm gonna go if it doesn't auto run then you can go it or if you are having auto run neighbor it then you can see it uh, pop up automatically in whatever case this is a file that gonna execute it it is auto run.exe so if you want to know generally typically that what file does generally execute when a cd or dvd is auto run then you can go to auto run.inf of inf just see the file so here this is auto run.exe i'm gonna go there and run the same file double click it's gonna show a small warning for example i have to do only the full install i have to run the patch of files after that and after that there are few add-ons that i have to do that so as a as first thing that you have to do is to watch a tutorial and i'm skipping that step because this is a tutorial itself so i'm gonna go to the next step that is the installation of game i'm gonna click on install game it's gonna ask me for the administrative privileges again i'm gonna press yes it's gonna start install now as you can see the typical vlc installation screen i press next it's gonna ask that is directx required I am already having DirectX 10 and even Windows XP is having uh, latest DirectX so I do not think that you would be ever requiring to install this DirectX 6 that was designed for Windows 98 and that too far 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 year back so always make sure that you press no out here right now this is a codec that you might be not having so just go and install it this is a legacy codec it's gonna install it just press stop search click ok ok click on no because we do not want to review the release note now it will switch back to the screen I'm gonna go there just see that what's happening where it is being disqualified this is a screen now because of that this installer 